Today's Mass is a family Mass led by the English Sunday School and Angels Group. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to our online Mass. Today, we are celebrating the most holy body and blood of Christ. Our main celebrant this afternoon is Father Cyril Veliat S.J. Let us all stand for the entrance song. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as you know, today we celebrate the feast of Corpus Christi, one of the major feasts of our Catholic religion, and our, our Christian religion, and our Catholic faith. Let us pray in this Mass in a very special way for all those who are still suffering as a result of the virus, and also for peace in different parts of the world. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and, and sisters, sisters that, that I have, have greatly, greatly sinned, sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, to through my fault, through, through my fault, through, through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, all, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the, the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus, in the signs of bread and wine, you have bestowed upon us infinite goodness. Teach us to share in your divinity. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus Christ, you call us to give God thanks and to honor him for your loving presence with us through the sacrament of your body and blood. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, in the mystery of the Holy Eucharist, you unite us all in the new covenant with the Lord and with one another. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, Lord. Forgive our frailty and lack of love for our neighbor and lead us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and, and on, on earth, earth peace, peace to people, people of, of good goodwill. Will. We, we praise you. you. We, we bless you. We adore, we adore you. you. We, we glorify you. you. We give, we give you thanks, thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord God, God Heavenly, Heavenly King, King O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Father, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, Only begotten Son, Son Lord God, Lamb, Lamb of God, Son of, Son of the Father, Father you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray.
Let us pray that we may be committed to the Holy Eucharist. Lord our God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. First reading, a reading from the book of Exodus. When Moses came to the people and related all the words and ordinances of the Lord, they all answered with one voice, we will do everything that the Lord has told us. Moses then wrote down all the words of the Lord and rising early the next day, he erected at the foot of the mountain an altar and 12 pillars for the 12 tribes of Israel. Then, having sent certain young men of the Israelites to offer holocausts and sacrifice young bulls as peace offerings to the Lord, Moses took half of the blood and put it in large bowls. The other half he splashed on the altar. Taking the book of the covenant, he read it aloud to the people who answered, all that the Lord has said, we will heed and do. Then he took the blood and sprinkled it on the people saying, this is the blood of the covenant that the Lord has made with you in accordance with all these words of his. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Let the response be, I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. Please repeat. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Response. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosened my bonds. Response. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. Response. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. Second reading, a reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Now Christ has come as the high priest of all the blessings which were to come. He has passed through the greater, the more perfect tent, which is better than one made by man's hands, because it is not of this created order. And he has entered the sanctuary once and for all, taking with him not the blood of goats and bull calves, but his own blood, having won an eternal redemption for us. The blood of goats and bulls and the ashes of a heifer are sprinkled on those who have incurred defilement 
and they restore the holiness of their outward lives. How much more effectively the blood of Christ, who offered himself as the perfect sacrifice to God, through the eternal spirit, can purify our inner self from dead actions so that we do our service to the living God. He brings a new covenant as the mediator, only so that the people who were called to an eternal inheritance may actually receive what was promised. His death took place to cancel the sins that infringed the earlier covenant. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all rise for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. I am, am the living, living bread, bread from heaven, heaven says, says the Lord. Whoever, whoever eats this bread will live forever. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. On the day of unleavened bread, when the Passover lamb was sacrificed, his disciples said to Jesus, where do you want to go and make the preparations for you to eat the Passover? So he sent two of his disciples saying to them, go into the city and you will meet a man carrying a pitcher of water. Follow him and say to the owner of the house which he enters, the master says, where is my dining room in which I can eat the Passover with my disciples? He will show you a large room furnished with couches all prepared. Make the preparations for us there. The disciples set out and went to the city and found everything as he had told them, and prepared the Passover. As they were eating, he took some bread, and when he said the blessing, he broke it and gave it to them. Take it, he said, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and when he had returned thanks, he gave it to them, and all drank from it. And he said to them, this is my blood, the blood of the covenant, which is to be poured out for many. I tell you solemnly, I shall not drink any more wine until the day I drink the new wine in the kingdom of God. After the Psalms had been sung, they left for the Mount of Olives. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My brothers and sisters, as all of you know, the feast we celebrate today is called Corpus Christi. What is this Corpus Christi? You see, the word is Latin. It means the body of Christ. In other words, what we celebrate today is the feast of the sacred Eucharist, the most holy Eucharist. All of you who are gathered here, here I'm sure you received your first holy communion. And the persons who prepared you for the first communion, I'm sure they made it very clear to you as to how sacred, how important the Holy Eucharist was. My brothers and sisters, this feast of Corpus Christi was instituted by Jesus Christ himself, as we see in today's gospel. You know, at his last supper, he blessed the wine and the, the bread, he shared it with his disciples, and he said, this is my body and this is my blood. And he also said, do this in remembrance of me. In other words, by saying those words, he instituted the feast of Corpus Christi. My brothers and sisters, Corpus Christi was originally celebrated on Maundy Thursday. You know, Maundy Thursday was the time when Jesus, you know, we, you know, celebrate the fact of the Last Supper. And so Corpus Christi used to be celebrated at that time but then later, after hundreds of years, Maundy Thursday became a very important feast. It got associated with so many other uh, events and incidents in the life of Jesus. 
that people began to feel maybe we should have a separate festival only for the Holy Eucharist and that will be Corpus Christi. So that is how Corpus Christi came to be instituted. My brothers and sisters, there's a very beautiful legend, well not a legend, it's a historical fact, a beautiful incident that, that is connected with the institution of this feast. You see, in the 13th century in Belgium, in the city of Ley, there was a little girl named Juliana. Her name was Juliana of Ley, and she was five years old, and she had a little sister named Anne. Now, these two children, when Juliana was five, they became orphans. Their father and mother died. There was no one to take care of them. But there was a congregation of sisters, you know, Augustinian nuns living in the city. They adopted those two children. They had a convent, and they were also running a home for lepers, people suffering from leprosy. So they picked up these two little girls, took them to their convent, and raised them in the convent. Now little Juliana, from the time she was a small child, had a very great devotion to the Blessed Sacrament. She would spend hours and hours, you know, praying before the Blessed Sacrament. And in the year 125, a very wonderful thing happened. Juliana had a vision of Jesus Christ. She was so happy at that, but she did not tell anybody. Now, in the months and years that came, more and more visions began to occur to Juliana. And eventually, after 20 years had passed, she felt she had to tell someone about it. And so when she went to make her confession, she told her confessor about all these visions. The confessor was greatly surprised. And as you know, what you hear in confession, you should not tell people outside. And so he asked the permission of Juliana he said, Juliana, I want to narrate this incident. What you told me, I want to convey it to the bishop. Can I have your permission for that? Juliana immediately gave permission. So he contacted the bishop of Ley and told him what had happened. And the bishop then and there decided, we must have a feast for the Holy Eucharist after Trinity Sunday. And that became the feast of Corpus Christi. It was a feast only for the diocese of Ley which the bishop was controlling. But in the year 1265, another interesting thing happened. A certain man happened to come there, a very holy man, Jacques de Pantelion was his name, and he, when he attended a mass for the, holy, for the Corpus Christi in the Diocese of Ley, he was tremendously impressed, and he felt that this feast should be extended to the entire Catholic Church. Now this man, Jacques de Pantelion, you know, so many interesting things happened to him. He became a priest, he became a bishop, he became a cardinal, and finally he became the Pope. And after becoming the Pope, he instituted this feast for the entire Roman Catholic Church all over the world. So that is how the Feast of Corpus Christi came to be established as a worldwide festival. My brothers and sisters, as you know, Jesus Christ is present among us in different ways. He is present in a community of believers. Like all of you gathered over here in prayer, Christ is here among you. He is present also in the word of God. When we read the Bible, the sacred scriptures, you know, Christ is present in those scriptures. Christ is also present in the people who communicate the word of God. You know, the priests, the nuns, the catechists, the Eucharistic ministers, all who work for the communication of the word of God, Christ is present in them. But the greatest presence of Christ is in the Holy Eucharist. You know, the great saint Augustine, he made a very famous remark many years ago. He said, we cannot receive Holy Communion unless we first adore God, unless we show that we worship him. And that is the reason why during Mass, the priest makes a statement. He says, pray my brothers and sisters that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. When the priest says that, it means that all of us together 
are offering the sacrifice of the mass, not just the priest, but everyone. My brothers and sisters, one man who liked the feast of Corpus Christi very much was the cure of ours, you know, St. John Mary Vianney, a very kind-hearted and gentle man and who had a very interesting way of explaining things. This is what he said. In a house, sometimes you have, the people have a pet, you know, a little dog or a little cat maybe. And when the pet is outside, it wants to get into the house. But once the door is open, what does it do? It rushes towards its master and cuddles up at his feet. And St. John Mary Vianney said, when I enter the church, that is what I feel like doing. I feel like rushing to the tabernacle and praying before our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray in this Mass in a very special way that our good Lord will shower his blessings upon this world and help all those who are suffering, not only on account of the virus, but of, for various other reasons as well. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Please stand. Let us recite the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us offer up our prayers and petitions as we renew the everlasting covenant by offering the sacrifice of the body and blood of Christ. Let us now pray to the Lord for the world and its inhabitants. Lord, Lord unite, unite us, us in, in your, your love. love. For the Church of God, that the celebration of the Eucharist may strengthen the bonds of love we have with Christ and with one another, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, unite us in your love. For our nations, that the free offering of the Eucharist may inspire all people to serve and contribute to bringing about peace and unity in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, <laughs> unite us in your love. For all Christian dominations, that Christ's presence may be a source of God's love and compassion, which heals all divisions and brings us together. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, unite us in your love. For the lonely, the abandoned, and the poor, that participating in the Eucharist may ease their burdens and fill them with hope and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, unite us in your love. For our parish community, that in appreciating deeply the real presence of Jesus in the Eucharist, we may profess in word and deeds the dying and rising of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, unite us in your love. For our beloved departed, that they may share in the endless joy of Christ and live forever in God's presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, unite us in your love. Lord, we faithfully offer our petitions. Grant that we may approach the Eucharist with devotion and commitment and bear witness to your presence in our world. Through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness we have this bread to offer, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the wine, work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, accept the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, of speak all your sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine may be accepted by God the Father Almighty. May, may the, the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands, hands for, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good, good and the good of all his holy church. church. Lord our God, grant your church, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in mystery, in the offerings we here present. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. You lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of Lord, hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are, are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection resurrection until you come come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, 
and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Tarshishius our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come. Thy will be done on earth, on earth as, as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we as forgive, we forgive those, those who trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be, with you, be with you. Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, word and my, and my soul, soul shall be healed.
Those who are attending the Mass online are now invited to recite the prayer of a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Please stand. God our Father, you have bound us to yourself through the body and blood of your Son. Grant, we pray, that we may delight for all eternity in the share in your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us recite Orasha Imparata for the protection against COVID-19. Merciful, Merciful and, and compassionate, compassionate Father, Father, we come, come to you in our need to seek your, your protection against, COVID against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We pray especially for all the medical experts and researchers who work to develop vaccines. Bless their efforts with the wisdom from the Holy Spirit for the proper development and use of the vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and across the world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead, and lead us, us to, to conversion and, and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, your Son, Son who lives and reigns with you in the, in unity, the unity of the, of the Holy Spirit, Spirit God, forever, forever and, ever. and ever. Amen. We fly, fly to your, your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Of God. Do, Do not, not despise our petition in our necessities, necessities but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Roque. Pray for us. Saint Ignatius. Pray for us. Please be seated for the announcements. Okay. One, the Tokyo remains under a state of emergency. Saint Ignatius Church complies with the directives of the Tokyo government and the Archbishop of Tokyo in the following manner. Then 12 noon and 4.30 p.m. mass, seating capacity is limited to 100 to comply with social distance directives. People who wish to attend Sunday mass must register online. Sunday mass will also be live streamed. Two, confession will be heard at the church foyer. Times for confession on Sundays are during mass and on weekdays are from 5.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Three, the church chapels and parish building close at 8 p.m. 4. Updates and further information are regularly posted on the St. Ignatius Church English website. Applications for the Sacrament of Confirmation are being accepted. Please note that the deadline for applications has been extended to June 20. Applic applicants are required to attend catechism classes in English. The Sacrament of Confirmation will be held in August at the 10 a.m. Japanese Mass. For details, please inquire at the church office. Two, the June edition of the English Bulletin is available at the church foyer. The May edition is also available at the church foyer. Please take a copy when you leave. Highlights are the Ignatian year, which is started May 20 and will end July 31st, 2022. The Golden Week project in St. Ignatius Church and the online rosary for children. Regular announcements. Please take home your mislet. Please leave through the designated exit doors. Please do not congregate outside the church doors or by the church gates or inside the church grounds. Please do not eat in groups in Teresia Hall. Please practice social distancing within the church grounds. Thank you for your cooperation. Please stand.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Thank you. celebrating the Eucharist with us. May you have a great day ahead. God bless us all.